Hello everyone and welcome to card number nine of my Valentine's Day series and today we are using two cartridges. I am using Life's a Party and Victoria Romance and the paper pack that I'm using today this is from K and Company and it's called Smitten and I'm doing a different color again today guys. My color is going to be based on brown, pink, orange I think it is so I'm using this pattern paper right here as you can see it sort of looked like a watermark and then where's the, my other paper at I am going to use this foil paper and where is it at here it goes. This design right here, guys. Okay, so let's get started. My card is going to be a shape card. And I got the shape card out of uh, Life's a Party. And it's right here. And it's called the Love Card. And what I did, I sized it five and a half wide. No, five and a half long. No, hold on a second. Five and a half long by 11 wide okay and that will make your five and a half by five and a half inch card and here goes my card base right here guys so you stretch it out to five and a half by 11 and it cuts out and this is what you get guys and it comes with one layer and of course I had to switch it out a little bit so what I did I did a couple of layers on the inside of the card not on the top because guess what guys this is going to be a shaker card I don't know if most of you are uh, out there like me but I have loads and loads and loads of micro beads it is just so funny and I don't use them so today we are going to use them so let's get started okay so here goes my container right here of all different color micro beads I end up getting these out of Marshall's TJ Maxx years ago guys like about three maybe four years ago they had them and these are a luster glass micro beads a lot of people are using uh, sequences but since I have so many of these I'm going to use this so I think since my color on my paper is this color right here I'm gonna use a little bit of the orange I'm gonna use a little bit of this pink and then I know I have another color and you know I have fo flocking flocking sorry guys I have a flocking powder <laughs> also so okay let me see what else I should have picked out these things before I was doing my and you know I'm gonna use the silver also okay so let me put this on the side and let's get started guys So my card base, like I said, this is my card base. So it's five and a half by eleven, and you stretch it out to that. So you have to turn it. You know, you have to use the, you know, the measurements on the side to make it this size. Okay. So let's start decorating the inside now. For the inside, I have the first layer of that pattern paper. Then I have another layer of. Uh, metallic pink paper and then I have my sentiment paper and then I cut another one of this size right here and what I did was I just made them smaller and I tried to fit them in twine with each other since we don't have the offset yet in the Cricut design space and then I cut out another one and what I did I just cut it in half and this is going to go down here Okay, so let's adhere all of these together. So I hope everyone's having an awesome Saturday. I can't believe I'm on card number 9 already of my Valentine's Day cards. I started it a little bit early because most people like to get their stuff done early than later. I mean, there are a lot of procrastinators out there that wait to the last minute, but not everybody's like that. So, to give you guys ideas, this is why I started the series so early. 
Okay, so now I'm just going to attach this other bracket piece. And this is going to adhere right in the middle of my second layer. And that looks good right there. Okay, so now I'm going to attach my base one because I want this to be aligned perfect. And this is double-sided paper, guys, and it's, it's beautiful on both sides. Oh, my God. Sometimes I wish I don't use double-sided paper, especially for if I'm not making any boxes. Because double-sided paper is mostly for when you make a project that's double-sided. Okay, then let me add a couple in the middle. So now I'm just going to attach this. And I'm going to start from this edge corner and make sure it's all lined up, guys, okay? And that looks perfect. And look at how beautiful. It looks like watercolor paper back there. It is so cool. And you know, guys, I don't I haven't made a shaker card in the last, I think this is my third Valentine's. And oh my god. I don't know what sometimes would be taking me so long to do these awesome, awesome things. You know, different card designs. But then, you know, the first time I had it, I it was difficult, but this time I used chipboard and I used uh, transparency paper, so it should be a little bit more better. We'll hope so. We'll see. Okay. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. I had to put a band-aid on. I kind of cut myself really quick. Okay, so there goes the inside of the card. And for my sentiment, I end up using the Puffy Hearts Just For You, My Creative Time With Emma. And it says, Fill Your Heart With Love. And then I use this Inky Dicky Do stamp set. And I use this little five dot thing. I think it's like a flourish. And I just stamped them on both sides. And that's the inside of our card. Then I also use Fun and Flare stamp set. And I used the Happy Valentine's Day. And I stamped it down here on the bottom. So there goes the inside of my card, guys. Don't that look pretty cool? I love the different colors. You know, Valentine's don't always have to be red, black, and pinks. And this is what I'm trying to show you guys all different colors I mean it, it just it blows you away okay guys it is amazing okay so now let's start decorating the front of the card now for the front of the card here goes all my layers I have my pattern paper that I cut the same size as I did a chipboard paper then I backed it up on the back with some, uh, just any color paper, guys. I had some paper in my paper stash, and I just needed to cut out another one, so you went and see the, the chipboard. And then I did the same to this, and then this plastic right here, a lot of people uses their Cricut uh, cartridges, the, the things that you get in the mail, the bubble ones. But I don't have any of that because... It's been years since I've been collecting my my cartridges and um so I had this right here which is a Parency film copies and it's for the copy machine but it's it's like acetate guys it's really thin it's awesome don't go out and buy this because this is really expensive it's about thirty five dollars so Definitely use your Cricut cartridges, uh, packages, and stuff like that. Or anything that you got in the house that looked like plastic. And then I used my quick dry and I glued it down a little bit. So now what I want to do, I want to adhere my pattern paper. 
So I'm going to use some ATG, but I'm also going to use some quick dry. And I actually want to use, not ATG or quick dry, I want to use score tape. So I'm just going to go around and I'm just going to put some score tape down because I want to make sure that this is going to stay. Okay, so that should be good enough. So, okay guys, I've been trying to brainstorm something. I want to do a challenge giveaway and you know guys with me and the giveaways I just love it but the last giveaway I had it and I think what it was it was because you know I really don't even remember it's it's been a little bit I kind of got discouraged a little bit but I had 15 people that entered which was really awesome you know at least it wasn't like one or two so I really enjoyed doing that. But like I was saying, I actually want to do another one. And I want a lot of people to join. This is going to be fun. And that's what I want. I want it to be fun. So if you guys want to do, think I should do a giveaway challenge, let me know below here and let me know. Let me know below here and let me know. Oh my god, sometimes. Let me know in the comment below. Okay, so now I am going to take this off and now I'm just going to place it over my acetate. So. And that looks really good and even. Okay. I might need to add some glue. Where's my glue bottle at? Oh, guys, I went to Hobby Lobby today. And in my Hobby Lobby, at least, they had the glue bottles with the metal tips there. Like I said, I've been trying to go there to see. Oh, I put too much. And I could not, for the life of me, find, find them. And I finally found them today, so I'm super, super excited about that. Just let me kind of wipe some of this off before it gets on there because I don't want it. Yep, I knew it. Okay. You know, these things work so good when you're not on film. You get on film, forget about it, guys. Everything in the world goes wrong okay that looks better so now that we got that attached and it looks really good now I want to turn it over and I want to attach this no I'm gonna wait I'm gonna attach it to the bottom so in the back of this I already have some score tape and what I want to do is go and sprinkle just a little bit of each of these colors into the middle. And I think that's good. And these things are so awesome, guys. They make a big mess. So definitely, if you're using micro beads, you've got to make sure they are on right. Right. 
glued down good too. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to add the last one. And it's the pink. And I think that should be way more than enough. Look at how cool that is, guys. The colors look awesome. See how cool? Okay, so now I want to take my quick dry and I want to place another piece of acetate on top of the back part of it so it closes it and it stays put. So I want to take all this score tape off. And what I did, so I don't have to get the static of the card, I passed the plastic sheet with a dryer sheet. And I'm hoping that will work. So now I'm just going to add some glue. And I got to be really careful because I don't want to overdo it. But I want to make sure that I got glue pretty much everywhere I need okay and then I think I'm going to use this to kind of spread it out a little bit I've kind of put too much right there okay okay so now I want to take my plastic sheet and it's not going to fit the same size as this because I cut it smaller Okay, so now I got that and I got looking like that and now I just want to press down on it and make sure and I should have not put no glue right there because I think my card is going to be sticky a little bit. Okay, I'm just trying to spread it out, guys. If I could lift this up just so I could clean some of that. Okay, guys, there goes my shaker. I should have put some hearts in there, too. That would have been awesome. But look at how cool the colors look. Okay, and now I want to add my back paper because I need a pattern paper to go in the back. So you see how it looks? That looks so cool. I just love it. God, I got glue on it. Okay. So, so far, I tried to cut this out of craft foam. It just didn't work and I had bought a deep edge uh, a deep a blade and I can't find it guys because why I put it up because it says oh I'm not gonna use that yet it'll be a while and now I don't even remember where I put it at so now let's adhere this to our back piece of design paper I 
I just want to make sure that this is I'm not too worried about the edges but I want the to be good okay so now I'm gonna run some ATG going around one right there one right there okay now I want to attach this to my pattern paper I just gotta make sure I'm in the middle guys Let me turn it around. Oh my god, this looks so cool. So here goes my shaker card, guys. Yay! So now I'm going to attach it to my card base. And you see how cool that looks? I wish I didn't have no glue in there. That looks so cool. Okay, so now I want to add some ATG, but I also want to add some quick dry. Because this is, uh, you know, since I use chipboard, and I have one, two, three, four, or maybe four. One, two, three. I got like four layers of different papers too. It's kind of thick. Okay, now I just want to, I kind of add it too much. So now I just want to make sure that it's not going to run through. So if I push it around, it'll like be flat. Sort of like if I was painting it on. Okay. Then I got some on the edge over here. Don't want none like that. Okay, so now we're going to add this to my card base. And it's going to look just like this, guys. I hope I don't have my head in the way. But there it goes. And I just want to make sure since I just want to press a little so it adheres. Oh my god, this looks so cool. So now there you go. You can leave it like that, but you know, I have to add more to it. Okay, I'm just making sure that none of this is coming out. That looks perfect. some reason okay so now I have this little bit of bling and I found this in my drawing I only had like two pieces so I figured that was perfect all I needed to do is just add something right here but I want to add some extra glue to make sure that it stays down
Okay. You know, Okay, so now since I got that, I want to add this to the corner. And I want it to go like right here. Okay. Then I have another piece and I just want to add this right over here. It's going to look like it's going from here to here. Or this way to this way. I think, is this the piece? I don't think so. But I could still use this. Okay, so now I'm just going to adhere this. To the front. Okay, so. <clears throat> there it goes. Now, in the Cricut Cartridge uh, Romance. I cut out this word. said love. And I got some pop, pop dots there. Because... An arrow goes through a heart, and I put glossy accents, and guys, this thing took forever to dry. You want to know why? Because I kept on laying stuff right on top of it, and it never dried. Then I try to use my heat gun, so this is good enough for right now. So I passed the arrow through the heart, so now I'm just going to take this foam tape off. And then I'm just going to adhere the dot down. And I cut the words out of brown glitter paper and a metallic pink. Okay, so I end up putting my heart in the middle. And I cut that out of the back paper. And then I put glossy accents. And then I ran the silver arrow through it. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to attach it right from here. So I want the arrows to go from one corner to the next. So now what I want to do, I just want to attach glue to the L and the E. And that's it. This, this is a new glue tip. And I think the hole is super big because a lot comes out now. Before, not too much will come out. Okay. So now I want to add my sentiment, which I got out of the Victorian Romance cartridge. And I think that looks good right there. Okay, so now I'm pressing down. Then I just want to put a little bit of glue behind the back of the arrow so it stays down. And it might not do good right there. I might have to put it on the trim. Okay. So I just want to hold on there. For a second, make sure that it grabs, takes a hole, as you see it didn't. I love the silver paper, but boy, you can't get no glue on it. Okay, I'm going to do the same to this one. Just going to add some glue right on there. And just press it down and hold it. Oh, this one came up.
Okay. Okay, so there goes card number nine. It's a shaker card, guys. I really hope you guys enjoy. It was really simple and easy. Besides, it just took a little bit to put the part together. So, there goes my card. Fill your heart with love. So, I have a love there with some micro beads. So, guys, if you got these things, these are called... Martha Stewart micro glass micro beads. So if you got any of these, definitely use them up because they do good for shaker cards, okay? So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy. Definitely thumbs up or press the like button, whichever one. You know, people, they ask me what thumbs up is and what's the like button. So the thumb button that you see below the thing, press that. <laughs> So thank you so much for watching guys and I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you soon for card number 10. Bye now. And there goes the inside. I just love it. Okay guys have a good one. Bye.